the Grignard reaction is a versatile carbon-carbon bond forming reaction. Aldehydes and ketones react with Grignard reagents via nucleophilic addition across the carbonyl pi bond. And in the process, a new alkyl group is added to what was once the carbonyl carbon. Grignard reagents are also strong bases, so they are incompatible with acidic protons in the substrate or the solvent. Consequently, this is a two-step process in which the proton source, often water or dilute aqueous acid, is not introduced until the second step of the reaction. The solvent for the first step of the reaction is often diethyl ether, which is free of acidic protons and stabilizes the Grignard reagent through coordination of the lone pairs on the ether oxygen with the metal. As we turn our attention toward the mechanism, it's useful to note that Grignard reagents contain a carbon-magnesium bond and this bond is polarized toward the carbon, which is more electronegative than the magnesium. As a result, the carbon bonded to magnesium is electron rich and behaves as though it were a carbanion. The mechanism of this reaction is very similar to that of cyanohydrin formation, which we saw in the previous video. The only significant difference is that the proton source is not introduced until the second step of this reaction. The electron-rich carbon of the Grignard reagent first nucleophilically attacks the electron-poor carbonyl carbon. This displaces the carbonyl pi bonding electrons onto oxygen, and the anionic oxygen thus formed then removes a proton from water or from dilute aqueous acid in the second step of the reaction. This yields the product as an alcohol. In this generic example, a ketone was used as the substrate, so the product is a tertiary alcohol, meaning that the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group is connected to three other carbons. In contrast, when aldehydes, other than formaldehyde, are used as substrates, secondary alcohols are produced. In the following example, benzaldehyde is treated with ethyl magnesium bromide followed by an aqueous workup to produce 1-phenyl, one 1-propanol, one a secondary alcohol, as the product. The ethyl group is often abbreviated as ET. An ethyl magnesium bromide possesses an intense partial negative charge on the methylene carbon. Therefore, this carbon atom behaves much like a carbanion. The reaction begins with the attack of the Grignard reagent on the electrophilic carbonyl carbon. The carbonyl pi electrons are displaced onto oxygen as a result. And in the reaction's second step, the oxygen anion is neutralized when it pulls a proton from water or from dilute aqueous acid. In this case, the product is a secondary alcohol because the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group is connected directly to two other carbons. In summary, the Grignard reaction is a carbon-carbon bond forming reaction in which an organomagnesium compound, known as a Grignard reagent, is nucleophilically added to the carbonyl carbon 
of a ketone or an aldehyde. Grignard reagents, though, are also basic, so the proton source cannot be introduced until the second step of the reaction. Otherwise, the proton source would quench the Grignard reagent through Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction. Similarly, the substrate and the reagent must also be free of acidic protons. It's also worth noting that organolithium reagents behave quite similarly to Grignard reagents and can generally be used in their place. We've already seen how the polarization of the carbon-magnesium bond results in a carbon that behaves essentially as though it were an anion. That same polarization is present in an organolithium species, and therefore organolithium species are also sources of carbons that behave effectively as carbanions. This is why they are more or less interchangeable with Grignard reagents at a simplistic level. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.